today. This is lesson seven, distance on the coordinate plane. And we're getting close to the end of this chapter. And you know what? Don't be too tricked by anything in this lesson, because this is basically another way to look at the Pythagorean theorem, another way to use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's take a look at this, because there shouldn't be anything too shocking in here, I wouldn't think except if my computer will not let me move. All right. Hey, guy, hey, look, they're looking at a map. That's so cool. All right. Now, we'll come back to this. Don't freak out about this. It's not a big deal. It's just the Pythagorean theorem, really. That's all it is. So let's go up here if it'll let me. Okay. Come on. So it's showing you how you can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the distance between any two points that are on a graph. You know, because you have, you have a point here and a point here. And if you see what they did, they say, oh, well, what's the distance between those two points? Well, the distance between those two points would be um, just doing the Pythagorean theorem because you have five going down. So from here to there is five, from here to there is four. So it's all about the distances. And then you have, you have the Pythagorean or sorry, a right triangle. And at this point, all you have to do is figure out what the, um, let's use green this time, what the third side is, what C is, you know, because I know it's going to be 25 and 16. That's where they got the 41. And that is C squared right there. And you just have to take the square root to get the distance between the two points. All right, that's how to do it. If you if you're given a graph, you can just see, again, you can see how much is it down? How much is it over? And then you've got your triangle and you can do the Pythagorean theorem. Now, the formula they give you does work. And if you get the formula in your head pretty well, then it just saves you a step. So now here's the formula, this distance formula. And if you look at it and you're like, well, this is weird. I've never seen anything like this before with the you know, x and x and y and y and then the square root. Well, if you think about what we just talked about. It's like you take your x's and you subtract the x's from each other and you square them. Well, that's what we did up here, up above too, was we just said, you know, how far is it from here to here? That's X. What's the distance? And that's where you get, you know, you have this X2, which, you know, if I get my pen on again, X2 goes from right here and X1's over here. So that's where you're subtracting just to say, how far is it from here to there? And then for the y's, you're saying, how far is it from here to there? And so that's your triangle. So what the formula does is subtract your x's, subtract your y's, square them, add them together, take the square root. That's the whole thing. That's the same thing. Because, you know, if you, if you say you have a number here, you know, if this is 3 and this is 4, you know, you're doing the same thing. You're saying that the difference between here and here is 3 even though it looks like a weird looking eight. And distance from here to here is four. The y up here minus this y is four. So then you have your 16 and your nine. So that's what we're doing. We're saying the distance, the difference is between the two. How far apart are they? How far apart are the x's? How far apart are the y's? Then like we've done every other time with the Pythagorean theorem, we add them together. And in my example here, you're going to get 25. And then you take the square root, and that tells you that this right here is 5. That's all there is to it. So it's just a nice formula to use to look back on so that you can maybe have a little bit of an easier time getting there instead of having to draw the picture and do the graph. And here's another look, part two. I think part two of the second video is it part four then. I don't know. So in this one, I believe my one mark was here at four or five and two, two. And so then 
you know, you can, you can say, oh, let's see, I think that side looks like this and that side looks like this. And so it look, looks like a three and this one looks like a two, right? So you got to figure out this length right here. So nine plus four, nine plus four is 13. And so I believe that we're looking at the square root of 13. And whatever that is, that's your answer for that. So you can do, you know, you can do it that way. If you want to use the, the, um, whoops. If you want to use the distance formula the whole time, that's fine too. Because like number four here, you know, they give you a couple, they give you a couple um, ordered pairs. And, and now this is an interesting one because they say that each each unit on the grid is half a mile. So they're talking about how far it's going to go. You got to be careful that half a mile because when you figure out the distance here um, for that, and you could graph it, or I would just put the numbers in. You know, when you put in the numbers for the distance formula, you just need to make sure, um, well, I guess it doesn't matter if you're squaring everything. So, you know, how far apart are the X's? To me, it looks like they're two apart. And how far apart are your Y's? It looks like they're 10 apart. So that's 10. Um, and so then, you know, I'm going to get a 4 and 100. So it's 104. And you have to do the square root of that. But then you need to remember that each unit is half a mile. So to figure out miles, you would have to divide everything in half. Because, you know, one mark is going to be half a mile. So divide it in half. There you go. So that's that. And that's what a lot of the things are going to be like is are you going to do it with the graph like this one you could do with the graph others maybe not so see what you can do see if you have any trouble with any of those and then this is a good one i can check these over with you when i get back on thursday and straightforward stuff just look back ask each other questions see what you can figure out see if you have any trouble i'm i don't remember if there's anything too weird here Nope, nothing too weird. So there you go. That's about it.